Well, we're here. You guys asked for it, you get it. Welcome to the YouTube channel. All right, guys, and welcome to the... <laughs> Why does everybody's YouTube channel start like that? I'm gonna make it a promise from this moment forward to never say the phrase, all right, guys, or you guys. Gonna do it nonstop. That's, that's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna do it nonstop. I almost did it right after saying that I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. So I have gotten a lot of requests online as well as in person to get the YouTube up and running again. And I just gotta be honest, it's, it's kind of it's kind of nerve wracking that you guys care that much what I have to say, but hey, I'm glad that you do. I'm glad that you're here. So uh, I guess we'll just start at the beginning and explain what we're gonna do on the channel and what Mad Minute Tacticians means. If you're new here because you got recommended this channel on YouTube, I'm sorry. I'm new. It's just my cell phone and I don't have a camera guy, so the quality is gonna be questionable for a while. If you came here from Instagram, man, I'm glad that you made it over to the channel and I feel like I deserve all of you Instagram followers an explanation as to why my name is Mad Minute Tacticians because I've never gone over it at any point. So, Mad Minute is a military term that I picked up when I was in the army and I used to teach it to my younger privates to kind of explain the concept behind the beginning of a gunfight. So gunfights, general by rule, gunfights just start. Unless you are the uh, ambushing team and you're the one initiating the gunfight, usually they catch you by surprise. And what happens in that environment is that our adrenaline level goes from baseline all the way into black level adrenaline immediately. The beginning of gunfights is typically where the craziest stuff happens. And I mean like the, the dumb stuff, the bad stuff. Like when you watch cop body camera videos and they like shoot each other through the car, that kind of stuff. So for us to be a tactician inside of that environment, someone that can think strategically, someone that can be able to calm themselves down and make good rational decisions inside that environment, that's what we're aiming to be. The problem is that no one will ever truly be there because no matter how skilled, no matter how high the level of, of the operator is, um, that, that adrenaline is gonna interact with you the same as it interacts with everyone else. And your proven performance in one engagement or one gunfight or one deployment does not necessarily mean that you would act the same on this one. If you stop putting in the work, you're not gonna get the same results. So to be a tactician inside of that environment, it just means that we did our best to establish a baseline of potentials that could happen to us with our plan to respond to those potentials. So that in that environment, all we have to do is just kind of go, that's the response I'm gonna go with. And if we have an immediate response, typically one that involves a violence of action that will overwhelm and stop the enemy from whatever, they, from whatever they're doing to us, that's the one that we wanna go with. So being a Mad Minute tactician just simply means that we've got that muscle memory built from putting in the work out here on the range. We've got that physical endurance built from putting in that time in the gym. And we have that mental toughness built from putting in the time and developing our plans and thinking through our strategies. And we have mental resilience built from being an intelligent human being, from understanding culture and society and understanding human beings and thinking through all of the topics and things that round us out as a human being in a deeper way. To me, in my opinion, being a Mad Minute tactician is just kind of a lifestyle. Being a Mad Minute tactician to me is kind of an echoing of the, the guys that started the country, you know, the, the workforce for the founding fathers, those, those Minute Men, that concept of a man that provided for his family yet kept his firearm above the hearth and was ready to respond not only in defense of his family, but in defense of his country, of his community, of his beliefs. Minute men were men that were everyday men. They were the men that would take the bullets. They were the men that were gonna lose legs inside of these gunfights. They were the men that were gonna make the ultimate risks. The founding fathers were dangerous men in their own right, but dangerous because of their ideology. They were dangerous to the crown. Those men were also facing a lot of risk, but the reward was much higher for them. For the minute men, they risked life for the promise of freedom and almost nothing more 
right? Like their life wasn't necessarily going to get better when the, when the crown was overthrown and Britain left the colonies. They still lived among this uncharted wilderness full of natives that did not want them there and opposing countries that did not particularly want them there. So the Minuteman had the most to lose and yet was the best of all of them. Because not only did he carry the ideology and pass it on into his future generations and his family, that ideology growing and building a country, but he was also the man that was there on the trench line that was skilled with his weapons. He was the man that was there where the metal met the meat. And if I had to be one of the two from history, from the ideological leadership of the founding fathers to the Minuteman at home with his family, willing to stand on his laurels in order to prove that he could build a better society for human beings, I want to be that guy. So, if you want to be that kind of guy too, let's figure out how to do that together. Let's use this channel as a way to develop my shooting skills and your shooting skills for watching me figure out how to do this better. Let's be better men by having conversations as an open community about what we can do to better ourselves as fathers, as husbands, as protectors and providers, and as cultural leaders inside of our country, just like the Minutemen that came before us. So if you're on board with me and you wanna help support, this is my video to introduce myself and the channel out there to the world. And I'm gonna get a Patreon up and running so that we can have more in-depth conversations with rougher language, about more things than you can talk about on any of your regular social media platforms. And also, it costs money to do this, so your support and help on that will be greatly appreciated. Guys, I can't wait to see you again. I can't wait till the next video. Remember, it's okay to be dangerous, and it's okay to be a principled man that stands for something. I'll see you soon.